and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. It was early this morning that a new attempt to land on the moon was launched, but that mission that Pittsburgh has played a role in may be in jeopardy from even making it to the moon. Pittsburgh-based Astrobotic that built the Peregrine Lunar Lander released the first images since it launched into space. You see that photo right here. Astrobotic says you can actually see the multi-layer insulation in the foreground. It shows the first clue that something had gone wrong with the propulsion system. Astrobotic said the spacecraft's battery was fully charged when that picture was taken and that the craft may still be able to perform as many operations as needed. I just spoke with some members of the Iris Lunar Rover team at CMU. Uh, Carmen Talento is the representation lead for Iris. She tells me everyone came together to see their years of hard work lift off into space this morning. Talento says the updates from Astrobotic have been bittersweet at times because Iris is along with that uh, lunar lander. And right now, they're staying optimistic, and they know they'll do something that's meaningful. Take a listen to our interview. Astrobotic pulled off a miracle with with Peregrine. It's truly remarkable to see the work that they've put in and being able to take a dire situation and bring new hope. And we're incredibly grateful for the work that they're doing. And we have hope for mission to go the best that it can. And as a team from the Iris standpoint, we have so many um, really cool ideas that we are planning for. And we're just excited. We're excited to see where our mission is going to take us. So basically, you're staying positive that everything's on the table here. It, you know, Iris and Peregrine could still make it to the moon. It could, you know, do other things that could make a difference um, down the road with research. So just basically, you're, you're staying as positive as you can. Definitely. Yeah. Positivity is what, what you need. And clearly it works because, you know, Ashbotic was able to use their hope, their positivity and, and turn it into something great. They have power again. Um, you know, they, they said that they're hoping to get um, their payloads involved and helping us to get as much scientific data as we can, no matter what. So it's it's really, really exciting. And we are going to run with everything we're given. We're going to make the absolute most out of everything, squeeze every drop out of it. And we're just really excited for it. It's going to be incredible. And we can't wait to see what they do with all this information they get from space. Talento says CMU's next big robotic rover project is called Moon Ranger, which will look for ice and water on the moon. That rover has also been in the works for many years.